All right, let's bring out our top 10 on the diagonals. Remember, folks, this is being judged live right now, so be as loud as you want and try to help the judges out with their decision. All right, our gentleman in place. Let's send it down to the judges. Big Steve. Thank you, Bob. Roley, William, Phil, and Sean. All right, so the all-important first call out here, Steve Weinberger asks Ruley Winkler, William Bonac, Phil Heath, and Sean Roden to come out and as part of this four-man call-out. Perhaps most notable here is Sean that Rome, Big Rami is not included in this call-out. And, uh, of course, the fans here in the building and all of you watching at home have been waiting to see Sean Rome, Roden stand side-by-side side with the champion, Phil Heath. And make no bones about it, not only are these two gentlemen competing against each other, Phil and Sean, they are not exactly Gentlemen, best friends. They have had a rivalry, and uh, that rivalry has very much come to fruition here as the um, comparison round will Quarter dictate turn, right? who is going to be crowned the 2018 Mr. Olympia. It is a compelling and somewhat stunning turn of developments or turn of events that Sean Roden finds himself turn, right? in a position to compete for the title of 2018 Mr. Olympia. But... Um, we're gonna watch these guys go through their quarter turns and get a better and sense a for how they compare 24 hours after we saw them last. Front double bicep. Well, there it is. There's the front double bicep comparison, Sean Ray. Front lat spread. Guys are going through it pose by pose, and uh, this is a close competition. William Bonac, of course, on one side, Ruli Winkler on the other. There is a lot to be decided right now. That front lap spread, Sean Roden is all over it right now. Side this is shot that Phil typically could pull off. Sean Roden is holding his own, and this is another one of Sean Roden's good shots. It's a great shot for Phil, good shot for Sean, but he's in better condition than a year ago. Bill's got better arms in this pose, but man, Sean has made closed the gap on back that double pose. bicep. See, that's a shot. That's a pose where Phil's gonna win. Now, these back shots at one time were dominated by Phil Heath with that insane detail and separation and those lines, that three-dimensional muscle. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see how it looks tonight as he and Rodin are compared. Well, again, the knock on Sean is the lower back. That's what hurts him. He doesn't have the thickness. Uh, or the quality muscle that Sean uh, that Phil has, but you can't help but notice he's holding his own, especially in the lower half. It's only one that pose. Last break. But you're right, Phil used to run away with that shot. Sean's getting a little bit more points from me because he's so much more improved, where it's still not so much. Who wins that shot? I think I'm going to stay with Phil because Sean doesn't have the meat on the bone that we talked about it. earlier that Phil has. That middle back thickness yeah. really puts Phil over the top in that shot, but it is getting closer and closer. And then, of course, the bookends with William and Rowley. We want to see them next to each other because the fight's in the middle right now. And I like Sean Roden on this shot here. Phil's midsection doesn't seem to come down enough on the side treads tricep. And you can't help but notice the tiny waist on the Sean Roden. Abdominals and thighs. And the abdominal wall. Phil's breathing heavy through his abdominals, but he should be breathing heavy through his chest. And here's Roden throwing down the challenge. Let's go, guys. Knock it off. Steve Weinberger was not tolerating the gamesmanship on that stage, instructing Sean Roden to knock it off as they go into their ab and thigh shot. And somebody told me earlier that this is a shot that can help decide this contest. 
absolutely is, then the uh, abs are going to Your shine. Your favorite most muscular. Hit the pose. He was breathing hard, but he's breathing through his stomach, and it's not a good The Ruly Wingfield, <laughs> her most Thank muscular, straight out of a comic book. Exceptional pose down, or exceptional comparison round between four great bodybuilders who have very much brought it this year. There's a lot of aggression because there's a lot at stake. History is at stake. Forget about the $400,000, but there's his history here. Dexter, Brandon, and Nathan. Everything is at stake. Their li someone's life can change forever. Absolutely. It's almost like, uh, you know, American Idol, for example. Right. And you could say this is the best of what's left, but man, this is even interesting here, Dan, because we have a former Olympia in Dexter Jackson in here. We got Brandon Curry who's come up a long way. And of course, Cedric Millen is in this line. This is a very tough lineup. Look at Rami a year ago was not in this. And he finds himself Maybe in a very precarious situation being compared with these guys. This is an incredible second call out. There have been first call outs at Arnold Classics that aren't as good as this second call out. Absolutely. And this is the fight for fifth and sixth. Which Brandon has and Dexter Switch. In terms of what a bodybuilder can ask in guest appearances domino effect for the balance of the year so you want to fight for this fifth and sixth place spot just as if we're first and second it's a lot at stake a lot of people ask Gentlemen, what's the best contest out. why the olympia is the best contest the side. olympia is the best contest because of this second call out this is an extraordinary high level caliber of athletes in this call out <laughs> big rami in a second call out the way he's looking tonight you know it, makes you scratch your head a little bit. I'm actually surprised they didn't pull him back into that first group. Every one of those guys, with the exception of Nathan Diasha, has an Arnold Classic title at home on their mantle, on their fireplace. He's got one from Brazil. Brandon's got two, one from Australia and Brazil. Big Rami's got one over in Spain. Dexter's got nine from all over Sanchez. the world. And of course, Cedric McMillan a year ago was the Arnold Classic champion in the Ohio. With the exception of Phil not being in this call out, Dan, this is, this is like, a, could be a, any pro show anywhere mindset. in the world. Well, I've seen Dexter Jackson at almost 49 years old going pose to pose, pose to pose with these giants, with these. Give yourself some room. This top group of bodybuilders. It's, it's incredible, and it shouldn't get lost in any of this, and of course, Cedric McMillan is still putting on a show for these guys and uh, just a, a tremendous back thing. And also friend. seeing Steve Kuklo in this group. Steve Kuklo brought it and uh, he's also a crowd favorite. And uh, just there's so much happening. And Nathan Diash, I know Nathan wanted better. He came here looking to get into the top five and he's got a chance to compete for that spot, as you just mentioned. Because to reiterate what you just mentioned, the fifth place finisher has punched his ticket. Is that correct, Sean? I believe so. To next year's Olympia. Track. Absolutely, you're in the top five. And you're, you're back here. Um, but again, these guys aren't going to settle. Most of them compete throughout the year, with the exception of Big Rami. Um, all these guys, I mean, Dexter's one of the most, he competes more than anybody. The majority of these guys will probably go on to the tour. This show's coming up after Dominoes this. Five. Including the Czech Republic. So what's, what's the advice to Big Rami? Obviously, this is disappointing. He came here to win this contest. He's going to go back to the drawing board. What does he need to Your do coming out of this contest? contest? It's not a simple fix, Dan. I mean, you can say the same about Dexter. The same thing about Cedric. Cedric was seventh or eighth place a year ago. Um, it is what it is. You're competing against guys that have a tendency to peak at the right time. Some of it's not about body parts. Some of it's just about peaking on the day, and a lot comes with getting ready for the Olympia in terms of managing finances, managing relationships, jobs, and other careers. This, these guys have nothing to be ashamed of. It's a long and winding road to this Olympia stage. But I believe we're gonna get one more look at those top four, or at least the top two. Phil, Rowley, William, and Sean. Here we go. 
I'd like to see William and Roley next to each other in this call out. Well, it's the same call out that we saw about five minutes ago. Roley Winkler, Roley and William Switch, William Bonac, Phil Heath, and Sean Roden. He's going to make William these guys Sean work. Switch. Steve Weinberger, the head judge, takes great pride about making John sure all the scenarios are covered and all the box. They have to stand next to each other to establish third or fourth. All right, place. Sean Ray, let's do this. Phil Heath for Sean Roden. Sean Front double bicep. Roden wins this pose. William Bonac and Front Willie Winkler, spread. very formidable as well. We move into the front last spread. Sean Roden or Phil Heath? Sean Roden is winning this pose. So right now, according to you, Sean Ray, Sean Roden is up two poses to none. As, side they, as they go to the compulsory, Steve Weinberger turns them to the side. They'll go into a side chest. And I'm going to let you call this one as well. Oh, man. That's Phil Heath's shot. His arms are too big for a tie. That's Phil Heath all day long. But it could be a tie. I could call that a tie. Phil's arms are just big. So we're going into the last spread. These two gentlemen in the middle have their, oh, the back double bicep, I'm sorry. They're gonna go into the back double. And by the way, William Bonac delivers a, ter a terrific back double off on the left side. I can side tell you, maybe William might be winning that back shot. Yes, sir. Back last spread. Bill does have a pretty back double bicep. I can't take that away from him. And what we're doing here is we are splitting hairs. I mean, we talk about Phil Heath. He is an extraordinary specimen, a remarkable bodybuilder. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to determine who's going to walk off of the Sandow Trophy. So that's the way we have to do it. Sean Ray to the last spread. Compare him. I'm going to go with Phil on that because the upper back is more grainy and separated, where Sean's a little more smooth. It's because he doesn't have that thickness to his upper back. All right, so Sean Roden was warned about delaying between the poses. That was on the abdominal shot. On the abdominal he shot. He was just doing that for the thrill and excitement. And of course, the midsection of Sean Roden is extraordinary this weekend. Mind you, I like Sean Roden in this pose better, but it's the tricep we're looking at, Phil is killing him on the tricep itself. But the pose goes to Sean Roden. The key for Sean Roden is to control the midsection. When he controls it, he is spot on. And the water is starting to come off of Phil, especially around the shoulders in the upper chest area, and this is obviously, for me, that's Sean Roden's pose. And I don't really like the way Phil is hitting that shot, but his arm is so big, you can't get it behind his neck. Are you seeing anything different about Phil Heath from a body language standpoint? I absolutely do, because he's, he's gasping for air right now, trying to breathe through his nose, but he's breathing through his stomach. So he's fighting for it, and that, that'll make you have to breathe for more air. Sean Roden opts for the hands on the hips, most muscular. And um, of course, a very different look. They each play to their own strengths. Notice the shine that's coming across the upper body of Phil. That's the water that's about to start coming out very shortly, where Sean is still dry as the bone. Phil's starting to gather a little bit of water down the middle of the pecs and up around his lower neck and around his shoulders. That's water that he's holding, where Sean does not have that. Notice he's keeping his thighs separated. Sean Roden is. Phil's got to be mindful to stay flexed throughout. Of course, those big sweeping quads Side come in. Chest. Very handy for Phil Heath in that pose. It gives him an advantage. And now they're going to go into a side chest. And as they continue to pose, Phil's starting to get shinier and shinier. It's not that someone's putting oil on him. That's water starting to come out. And sometimes you can get better, but he's got to rub that into his skin so that it doesn't look like it's just ripping out of him, especially on the back of the traps. You got to respect the fact that Steve is Weinberger, the head judge, is making these guys work. But I'd like to see him switch it up so we can see William and Roley stand next to each other. Because well, that is the big battle, that battle for third place. A lot of money is on the line, and a spot in the top three means a lot here at this competition. Steve Weinberger asks for their favorite, most muscular, and potentially 
the final chance to make their claim. I don't know if they're going to continue this much longer. The champion is the only one that's breaking a sweat up here, which tells me he's holding water. Their styles are very different, Sean. William Bonick is looking harder as he Relax. poses. Thank you, gentlemen. Back in line. This Thank contest you. has not been decided as of right now, Dan. There is no way there is a clear cut victory for Bill Heath at this point in time. But nothing like the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat having to make us wait to find out what this is going to do as far as the judges. All of them are very competitive. But what the heck, Roly Winkler was amazing.